He has turned the basement dwelling Bengals into a legit Super Bowl contender on the field, and he is turning the heads of the ladies off the field. In this video, we will explore Joe's early life, highlights from high school and college days, current Bengals highlights, contracts, net worth, and his off-the-field lifestyle of how he spends his money, girls, cars, and houses. We will even explore a story of a beautiful college gymnast that wants to steal Joe away from his girlfriend. So stay tuned till the end so you don't miss any of the juicy details. Now we all know about Joe's amazing storied college career with LSU, culminating with winning the national championship game and the Heisman Trophy. But let's go back to the beginning and see where it all started. Little Joe was born in Ames, Iowa on December 10th, 1996 to parents Robin and Jim Burrow. His father is a former football player and coach. When Joe was born, his father was on the coaching staff of the Iowa State University football team. Joe is part of a long line of athletes in his family. In the 1940s, his paternal grandmother set a Mississippi State High School record with an 82-point game in basketball. Joe's paternal grandfather played basketball at Mississippi State. His uncle, John Burrow, played football at Ole Miss, and two older brothers played at Nebraska. So Joe grew up swimming in a really nice gene pool. Joe definitely grew up around football. At age five, he attended the Rose Bowl game because his dad was an assistant coach for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Not long after that, Joe began playing peewee football. His father, uncle, and brothers all played defense, but Joe started out his peewee career as a quarterback because the first team he played for didn't have anyone else that could throw. And we are all very thankful for that. Joe must have showed promise in those early years because future Central Michigan head coach Dan Enos commented that the seven-year-old Joe had a future in football. In 2005, Joe moved to Ohio when his dad accepted the defensive coordinator position at Ohio University in Athens. Joe ended up going to Athens High School and as the starting quarterback, he led the football team to the playoffs three straight years and the school's first seven playoff wins in school history. In his high school career, he passed for 11,416 yards with 157 passing touchdowns and rushed for 2,067 yards with 27 touchdowns. As a senior in 2014, Joe was awarded the state's Mr. Football Award and Gatorade Player of the Year Award. Joe was clearly the big man on campus because he was also a standout on the basketball team, playing point guard and was named first team All-State his senior year. Joe ended up as a four-star recruit in football and was ranked eighth in the nation for dual-threat quarterbacks. Out of high school, Burrow committed to play football at Ohio State. Now, although Ohio State is a great football program, during Joe's time there, they were just too stacked at the quarterback position, and he spent his first year as a redshirt, then the next two years as a backup to JT Barrett. Now, in those two years, he only managed to get 39 passing attempts, completing 29 of them for 287 yards and two touchdowns. Now, realizing he wasn't going to get the opportunity he wanted at Ohio State, in May of 2018, Burrow transferred to LSU. Now, Joe Burrow is a very smart dude and managed to graduate from Ohio State in only three years, making him immediately eligible to play football at LSU as a graduate student. Now, before we get into his career at LSU, let's talk a little bit about Joe's personal life. Joe met his current girlfriend, Olivia Holschmacher, in 2015 while at Ohio State but didn't start dating until 2017. Olivia is a data analyst currently working at the Kroger Company in Cincinnati, Ohio. The couple seems to be great together and have stayed strong through Joe's move to LSU and back to Ohio to play in the NFL. But they might need to watch out for that other beautiful young Olivia from LSU that has her heart set on Joe. More on that story in a little bit. Now remember to like and subscribe so that NFL Gems can continue to bring you great NFL content. The decision to transfer was the best decision of his life. Burrow immediately became the starter at LSU. Early that season, he was named SEC Offensive Player of the Week after a win over the number 7 ranked Auburn Tigers, where he threw for 249 yards and a touchdown. A couple weeks later, he was again named SEC Player of the Week for his 292-yard three-touchdown performance against Ole Miss. Burrow and the LSU Tigers ended the season. 10-3, including a win in the Fiesta Bowl over UCF. Joe finished the 2018 season with 2,894 yards passing, 16 touchdowns, and added 399 yards to his totals in rushing. Now, 2019 was the season of all seasons for Joe. 
He broke so many records that they are almost too hard to count. In the season opener against Georgia Southern, Burrow threw for 278 yards and five touchdowns in a 55-3 win and shared co-offensive player of the week with Tua Tongo-Vailoa. In week two, Joe threw for 471 yards and a 45-38 win over ninth-ranked Texas, earning SEC Player of the Week yet again, then earned the award again for throwing for 398 yards and his cool record of six passing touchdowns against Vanderbilt. Then the next week against Utah State, Burrow threw for 344 yards and five touchdowns, becoming the first LSU Tiger to ever throw for 300-plus yards in four consecutive games. A little later in the season, LSU beat the ninth-ranked Auburn Tigers and Burrow threw for 321 yards, setting another school record of eight career 300-plus yard games. On November 9th, number two-ranked LSU met number three-ranked Alabama, led by another Heisman candidate, Tua Tongo-Vailoa. Now the two superstars battled it out, but Burrow ended up victorious, throwing for 393 yards and three touchdowns with a final score of 46 to 41. Joe earned yet another Offensive Player of the Week award for that game. The following week against Ole Miss, Joe threw for 489 yards and five touchdowns and broke the LSU single season passing yard record. Then a week later in the regular season finale against Texas A&M, Burrow threw for 352 yards and three touchdowns, breaking the SEC single season passing yard record previously set by Kentucky's Tim Couch. Now LSU ended the regular season ranked number one, so they met number four Oklahoma in the college football playoff semifinal game. This would be probably Joe Burrow's best game of his career. Joe threw for seven touchdowns in just the first half with a total of 493 passing yards. Now those are numbers that would be phenomenal for a full game, but absolutely unheard of for only one half. Very early in the second half, coaches felt Joe had done enough and took him out to let him rest up for the national championship game. Analysts have called that performance one of the greatest in college football history. In the national championship game, LSU easily defeated Clemson 42-25. Burrow threw for 463 yards and five touchdowns and ran for one other touchdown. He was named the game's offensive MVP and ended the season with 60 passing touchdowns, which broke the single-season FBS record previously set by Colt Brennan's at 58 in 2006. Now, the crown jewel of the season for Burrow was winning the Heisman Trophy. He earned 1,846 more votes than Jalen Hurts, the runner-up. It was the largest margin of victory in the history of the award, and Burrow received the greatest ever share of available points. Now, due to all of the previously mentioned accolades, Joe Burrow was the number one overall pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals agreed to a four-year, $36.1 million rookie contract which Joe signed on July 31, 2020. Joe had finally made it, and now he would be able to get all the cars, houses, jewelry, and the girls that he wanted. So let's talk about the girls for a minute. As we already mentioned, Joe has a steady girlfriend and they seem to be doing well, but there are many women out there that wouldn't mind getting a chance to spend some time with Joe. And one in particular is the very beautiful, young, and athletic Olivia Dunn. She is on the LSU gymnastics team and seems to be infatuated with Joe Burrow. Olivia became a millionaire at the age of 18 thanks to her huge social media following. She has over 6 million followers on TikTok and over 2 million on Instagram. But now Dunn has her sights set on Joey B. She recently posted a picture of her hugging a huge wall-mounted painting of Joe and then later posted a picture of the two of them at an LSU function together. All signs show that Joe and his girlfriend are still good, but if it ever doesn't work out, looks like he has a pretty good backup plan. Now, as far as the big mansions, fancy cars, and jewelry, that's not really Joe's style. After signing his rookie contract with the Bengals, Burrow stated that he planned to save all of his contract money and instead live through income received from endorsements. Joe hasn't yet brought that big mansion. He still lives with his parents in the house that he grew up in. The same house his parents bought in 2005 when they first moved to Athens, Ohio. Joe loves his hometown and loves his family and doesn't seem to be in such a rush to leave. Burrow does own a few cars, but nothing too crazy. He bought a glossy black all-electric Porsche Taycan, which has a price tag of $150,000, and it can generate power up to 460 kilowatts and 616 horsepower, and has a top track speed of 161 miles per hour and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds. Joe is also sponsored by Lordstown Motors, so he was gifted a fully customized Lordstown Endurance truck. Now, the truck customizations include Cincinnati Bengals orange colors, 
Burroughs jersey number nine on the door, and slogan, Working Joe. Lastly, Joe has an Acura NSX. It is a hybrid electric vehicle with a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine and three electric motors. With a top speed of 190 miles per hour, and it runs about $156,000. So as you can see, it looks like Joe likes speed and has a thing for electric vehicles. As far as net worth goes, Joe Burrow currently sits at around $10 million, but with how he is playing right now, in a couple of years when his rookie contract is up, I am sure his net worth will skyrocket. Now let's get back to football. In 2020, Burrow's rookie season with the Bengals, his win-loss record wasn't that great because the Bengals really weren't that great. But Joe was about to change all of that. Burrow was the only rookie quarterback from his draft class to start on opening week. In week two, Joe attempted 61 passes, completing 37 of them for 316 yards and three touchdowns, which broke the NFL record for most completions by a rookie quarterback in a single game. In week four, Burrow earned his first career win and became the first rookie quarterback to throw for 300 or more yards in three straight games. Joe also completed more passes than any other player in NFL history during that first eight games with 221 completions. But in week 11, Joe was hit low while attempting a pass and tore his ACL and MCL in his left knee and was placed on injured reserve, which ended his rookie season. After healing up, Joe Burrow would come back with a vengeance. In week four, Burrow threw for 348 yards and two touchdowns, earning him the AFC Offensive Player of the Week and the Bengals a 3-1 record to start the season. In week 16, Burrow threw for 525 yards and four touchdowns with no interceptions, breaking Boomer Esiason's franchise record for most passing yards in a single game. Joe led the Bengals to their first playoff win since 1990 against the Las Vegas Raiders in the wildcard round. In the divisional round against the top-seeded Tennessee Titans, Burrow threw for 348 yards and achieved the franchise's first playoff win on the road. In the AFC Championship game against the Kansas City Chiefs, Burrow threw for 250 yards and two touchdowns in a 27-24 overtime win. This earned the Bengals a trip to the Super Bowl, which the Bengals had it done since 1988. The Bengals lost to the Los Angeles Rams in the Super Bowl, but Joe Burrow has proven that he deserves to be here and is becoming one of the elite quarterbacks in the league. Burrow has done it again in 2022, looking to make a deep playoff run and possibly get that Super Bowl ring. So make sure to like and subscribe and check out NFL Gems for more awesome NFL lifestyle videos.